If you look at the market overall, there is a growing concern about growth, and obviously the macro slowdown started from like China and now about U.S., but it actually means, ironically, it gives more opportunity and valuation premium toward the growth sector. So some of the subsectors who had a good thematics and good longer-term growth outlook has been doing quite well. So starting from the early this year, we saw EV names are rallying. We saw AI theme being emerging. Yeah. As you mentioned, robot being a later theme. And I think on top of that, this IPO is what actually what the retail investors are chasing and obviously institutions are chasing at the moment. You yeah. say chasing. Yeah. Is it too late to get in the game? Well, I guess uh, for given the overall weakness of the market, I mean, Keep focus continue to be on the on the certain growth area, mm -hmm. and clearly robotics has a multi-year growth uh, opportunity, and uh, we are seeing not just like big companies like Samsung, Hyundai, uh, on Tucson. Mm -hmm. More moreover, there will be a lot more of travel companies or big companies going into the areas. Thus, we think this is is may obviously depend on the valuation, but. At least for when it comes to growth outlook, I think it's just the beginning of the whole growth uh, of the robotics. Industry. Okay. Let's talk about the IPO market in South Korea. Many see this as an inflection point. I know that you don't really look at IPOs only, right. but mm -hmm. what's really the market sentiment? Do you think that this means a sort of a turnaround, a little bit of a warming up mm -hmm. in, the, mm -hmm. in this uh, IPO market mm -hmm. winter? Well, I mean, it's hard to say, uh, but there clearly has a lot of liquidity out there in mm -hmm. the market, obviously, which has been moving around, and now they're looking for this kind of area. So given uh, there are some of series of like, innovative companies who are waiting for heating up for the IPO, I mm -hmm. think we'll kind of see the decent size of IPO coming through in the next couple of months, despite concern of the macro uh, in the U.S. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.